When you feel like breaking down Yeah, just go up Whoa, just go up Really, 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 really. My money, my pilot When you feel like breaking down Yeah, just go up I swear I probably look crazy wearing shades in the wintertime, but I feel so cool at the same time. What's good, my favorite? Welcome back to the channel. We are coming live from Panera Bread. So I decided to come here today because I need to see where I can chill today, y'all. Like Panera Bread has like booths or whatever, and I like those bench seats. I can sit back and relax and chill. It really puts the works. I plan on being for like a super long amount of time, doing like hella editing, catch up on stuff. Hold on one second. No problem. And just you know, get into the grind for real, y'all. So. They about to be bougie today and get like a coffee with some oatmeal probably. Man, my screen dark. Or probably some yogurt or something, you know what I mean? I decided to start down different. I was about to go to Wendy's at first, but then I drove right past them. So something must have told me to not go to Wendy's, you dig? Lifestyles of the rich and famous. <laughs> what you laughing at? Well, I'm rich and famous. famous. <laughs> it's just better, like, it's just like, you know what I'm saying? Let's get straight to it, y'all. Uber was going crazy a day. Thank God I have, like, that time lapse that was right before this because that's all the footage I was able to get, y'all. Uber was going so insane that I was not able to record any footage while doing Uber. But that's the good thing, though. That means Uber has been really, really busy for the past few days. And like I told y'all in yesterday's vlog, you gotta strike while the iron's hot, y'all. So yeah, I was doing over for like the past six, seven hours, took a few hour nap, and now I'm here talking to y'all because it's something crazy I gotta talk to y'all about, and I needed to have this energy for y'all. So listen, so like um, two days ago, um, as you can see, I went out to eat with Ashley, um, went out to you know the place, the taco place, so wherever we went. And I was sitting out talking to her like, man, I wish God would just send me a human form or a sign that I'm going in the right direction. We was both talking about that. And then just last night, I was laying in my bed like at 4 a.m., my mind was racing. I was just like, damn, man, I need to find a way to really, you know, I hit big in life. Although, like I always say, I'm doing these great things, I'm blessed for it, and I don't take any of it for granted. But like I always tell y'all, man, it's like, fuck, it's that next stage that I'm trying to get to, right? And I just was like praying in my head, like, God, please show me a sign. God, please show me a sign. You know what I mean? I went to sleep. Woke up uh, today, normal day, right? And I was I went to Panera Bread, as y'all can see. After I got done recording that vlog or recording the intro when I was walking to Panera Bread, I was making my coffee, right? This lady came out of nowhere, right? And she's like, are you rich? I was like, hmm, I'm not rich. You know, think in my head, that's not my name. And then, I, and then she was like, you will be. And I was like, huh? She's like, you will be. And I was like, oh, am I rich? And she's like, yeah. And I was like, I will be. And she's like, you will be. I can see it already. Have a good one. And just walked away. Didn't know who this lady was. Didn't know anything, y'all. But the crazy thing about this is I had just asked God a few hours, like a day before, hey, show me a way. Hey, give me a sign. Hey, I need a human form to show me. Because I was asking him, like, hey, you can bring my future self here real quick and just have him come to me and tell me to keep going. And that's crazy. I woke up the next day and boom, this random lady appears out of nowhere and says that. And I know y'all probably like, everybody says that, but no, I felt this energy from her when she said that. We looked at each other, we both looked at each other like, what? It's like she knew that I was asking God to for a sign. She knew it. I swear to y'all, this may sound crazy, I know, but it was the greatest feeling ever, y'all. It was the greatest feeling ever, you know what I mean? As I always say, God works mysterious ways, but this is the first time in my life He's worked through a human form, and I actually felt the energy and was fully blown, fully aware of it, y'all. It was the most amazing feeling ever, y'all. I just had to document this. I haven't posted it on Facebook. I'm about to write it in my journal because that is something just, that's a testimony, y'all. That is a living testimony. Because I'm telling you, I was just laying in my bed like, God, please, please show me a way. God, please show me that I'm going the right way with this. And when she came to me and said, you'll be rich, and that's those few quick words, and she confirmed it with me, like, you will be rich. And like, I was like, what? This lady's confirming this? Like, you know, used to people like, oh, you look rich, or oh, look like, you look like you're wealthy, or oh, look like, you know, they give me good compliments, and I, I love that. But her compliment, it hit me hard. And I felt the energy, because as we looked each other in the face, it was like this, you know, like that, I don't know, some kind of magnetic energy. And then she said, have a good one, and walked out. 
and it, I just started smiling. I just started smiling, smiling, smiling. I went to go sit down and start editing my vlog, y'all. ain't gonna lie, I busted a few tears out, y'all. I was trying to hold them back, and I was like, damn. That was really a real blessing for God. And the only thing I can say was thank you, God. Thank you, God. That's all I can say the whole time, y'all. Because lately, I ain't a lot of y'all. I've been talking to God a lot lately. You know what I mean? I've been talking to him a lot. Because for this year, it's that year to really do everything I can possibly do. You know what I mean? Last year was kind of like the first year of my life. I was kind of like lost in the sauce. Like lost in what I wanted to do. Didn't know anything. I was just like, blah. That's my first year ever. And this year is like the, the 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 clear year. I know 2020 clear vision, but this year is like the year I'm just going for everything, risking everything, and just asking God to guide me through all this, man. And by yesterday that happening, that shows that the spirit is real. I understand we all have different beliefs. I understand we believe in different things, but that showed from a deep level, y'all. The spirit is real, and you're always protected no matter what. Because it's just it's just crazy to me. I'm still mind blown. I still can barely talk about it. But bestly, I'm gonna talk about this a lot throughout my journey forever. Forever. Cause I just like just ask God, God, send me a sign. Please send me a sign through human form. Then boom. He sent me a sign the next day. And then tell me why I was sitting down afterwards, like an hour later, edit my vlog. And last night, also last night, I was looking up um so long story short, y'all, I want to get into music engineer and I want to be in that be that guy in the studio, the producer making beats and, you know, tuning how the voice sounds and everything. Okay, but also while I was editing my vlog, I was sitting there just do, do, do in my own world editing. This guy's like, hey, are you a music engineer? And I was like, I looked up like, God, you showing out today. And I was like, no, but that's crazy you asked that because last night I was just doing research and he said, what do you do? He said, I see you work on some videos. I was like, yeah, I do videography, photography, I do marketing, anything with a camera. He's like, take down my number, you know, and I took down his number and everything. It just hit me like, whoa, another blessing, y'all, another blessing. So whatever I'm doing in life, I'm, I'm going the right way, y'all. I know sometimes I get lost in the sauce. Like I always say, I'm not perfect. You know what I mean? I'm just like everybody else, just like y'all, but man. By that lady coming to me and by that guy coming to me, that's why music engineer, it just shows like, hey, I want to go even harder now. You know what I mean? I really want to embrace this journey a lot more because sometimes I do question the journey like, damn, is this really the journey? You know what I mean? Ain't nothing, ain't nothing hitting hard right now. You know what I mean? But once, every time I feel that way, it feels like, you know, God pushes me or something pushes me or something just, you know, I don't know what it is, y'all. I just know that something is looking over me. God's looking over me. I'm protected. You know what I mean? Throughout the ups and downs. I, of course, I still, you know, I'm leading my own way, but he's there with me. You know what I mean? The spirit is there with me, y'all. And today was a prime example, man. And I just had to get this out there, y'all. It's just, I don't know. I had to document this for my own good. And hopefully somebody's watching this. And y'all went through this, too. Or y'all are going to go through this, too. So I feel like everybody has experiences in life that really help them, you know, broaden their vision and broaden their horizon or whatever, y'all. So, yeah. Whew, had to share with y'all, y'all. But um, let's get through the fun facts of the days really quick because I don't want this vlog being too long. Um, actually, it might be long anyway because before this, I didn't really vlog too much, y'all. So, um, y'all know what's up. Let's see. February 28th, 2020. Thought of the day. Of all the people on the planet, you talk to yourself more than anyone. Make sure you are saying the right things. Unknown. Yeah, that's true. I talk to myself all the time. For instance, when I went to Panera Bread today, the lady's like, what were you like? And I started talking to myself like, mm, I don't want to get that because that costs too much. And this, 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 yeah, yeah. And you know what? I'm learning to talk to myself a lot more in public too. Because everybody does it. You know what I mean? I used to feel weird going out in public talking to myself. Not having a full long conversation with myself, you know, but a little quick messages to myself. I used to feel weird about doing that because what people judge me. But little did I know, everybody does that. I'm just the person to embrace it in the public. You know what I mean? But yeah, I agree. So say good things to yourself. You know what I mean? Really love yourself and be great to yourself. Joke of the day. What do cows read in the morning? Uh-oh. The moose paper. <laughs> you get it? Moose paper. <laughs> Random fact of the day. Leap years happen every four years. The odds of being born on February 29th are one in we have one in 1,461. You know what, y'all? I looked up birthdays, right? And there's one birthday on February 29th for all 2,000 of my Facebook friends, y'all. One birthday. Ain't that crazy? Ain't that crazy? Because I got 2,000 Facebook friends and it's one person's birthday that's on February 29th. Because I had to look at it because I heard, you know, we barely have a February 29th. And I was like, damn, that must suck to like 
be born on February 29th and you know, you don't have a birthday until what, every what, four years or so? Damn, son, that's crazy. Journal entry idea. Will you like being born on leap day? Why or why not? No, I just said that. <laughs> no, I'm cool. I mean, I look at a birthday as like, okay, just a day. You know what I mean? But still a day you should cherish and you should love because it's a day you, you know, actually were existed or came into the world. But um, no, nah, I personally wouldn't want that though because I mean, I don't know. In fact, you don't have a birthday no more. You know what I mean? You have a birthday once every four years, you know what I mean? Then you got to celebrate on the day you really wasn't born. So if you was born on the 29th, you had to celebrate on the 28th. That's kind of corny. But anybody out there who was born on February 29th, happy birthday, turn up. You know, even if you're watching this four years from now, turn up, enjoy yourself. Or if you're watching this, it is not your birthday year, you know, turn up on the 28th. Ooh. But what has been said, my family, um, today was a great day, as y'all can tell, man. I spoke to my guardian angel, went out and made some good money. Wasn't able to get any type of cool footage before this. I'm sorry, y'all, but it's been really busy doing Uber. Y'all know I'm a hustler. I'm a strike while the iron's hot, you did. But I'm going to see y'all tomorrow. Peace, love, my family.